Hey everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist. In this video we're going to be looking at some swallowtails. And I'm going to show you uh, the main differences between them and how you can uh, tell, tell them apart and learn to ID. Um, and be focusing on the on the yellow species, mostly the tiger, different tiger swallowtails. Um, just got them out of my uh, swallowtail boxes right there. Um, but without further ado, um, let's get into it. All right. So the first ones we're gonna be looking at are the more are the eastern species. Uh, we have a Papilio canadensis, the Canadian tiger swallowtail, and we have a Papilio glaucus, the eastern tiger swallowtail. Um, there is also another species of sw uh, tiger swallowtail called the Appalachian swallowtail. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any of those in my collection, but I'll put a link in the description below of the bug guide page and you can look at the uh, description on that species to tell the difference. Essentially it's larger than the eastern tiger swallowtail and found more in the, just in the Appalachian mountain area. Um, plus a couple other little small differences. Okay, so in most of the east you'll get the eastern tiger swallowtail but in the, also in the east but in the more northern range uh, in the upper half of the northern states and stuff you'll have the Canadian tiger swallowtail as well and let's put them side by side um, All right. A minute difference that you can see right off the hand, which doesn't look like it when they're apart, but together, you can see there is a slight size difference with the Canadian side of tiger swallowtail. Slightly smaller than the Eastern tiger swallowtail. Um, kind of difficult to, to see, but you can, you can see the difference in the sizes right there. Um, to start at the top side, the main difference um, is by looking at the inner margin of the hind wing right here. That, uh, let's see, where's this uh, black line right there? You can see how thin that is. And look at the Canadian tiger swallowtail, you can see how thick that is. Um, that's one of the easiest ways to tell. Looking at the top. Get that a little closer, but yeah. Tell the difference between, again, the size of the black line right there, really thick right there in the Canadian tiger swallowtail and really thin in the eastern tiger swallowtail and if we look at the undersides now I noticed this in my specimens and I think I've read it before as well but you can tell on the other sides if you look at the this row of uh, yellow right here on the edge of the underside of the f uh, front uh, forewing. You can see how the black goes in between and creates like a chain. And the yellow is cut off on each one before the thing on the, each section. But in the Canadian tiger swallowtail, it stays open. So there's really no black that goes in, it's just a continuous yellow that goes all the way down. Um, 
It's what I've noticed on my specimens. So if we look on the other side of these, you can see no black in between. This one does have black in between. So that, to me, that's another way to tell the difference. Um, so yeah. Those are those two. So let's move on to the other two species. I'm gonna set these aside. Um, okay. Now to the western part of the U.S. You have the Western Tiger Swallowtail, Papilio rutilus. And although in the common name it isn't, there isn't Tiger in the common name, we have the Two-Tailed Swallowtail, Papilio Multicaudata, uh, which personally is my favorite of the yellow ones. But anyway, uh, the Two-Tailed Swallowtail is quite easily recognizable um, they're large really clean looking yellow really sharp lines really 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 beautiful looking species you see how clean and sharp the black is on the yellow but most importantly you can see the two tails hence its name and granted you will have specimens out there that's missing part of the tails but there's you can't really mistake this species for any other species out west and that's the underside right there clean yet again the two tails absolutely beautiful species and then you have the western And you can you can see the differences like um, size wise and the shape of the forewing pattern wise once you see them in person it's really easy but this one can't really confuse Unless on the eastern, where, where you can get confused, actually, is where on the eastern range of the species and the western range of the glaucus. And there's actually a really easy way to tell the difference. You look on the underside. In the eastern tiger swallowtails, on the hind wing, you can see the the orange right there, and the yellow dots. In the western, there is no orange, which you can clearly see right there. And that's a super easy way to tell the difference between the two where they have potential to overlap in range, um, which is more in the east of the Rockies, in the Plains area, west, uh, eastern Colorado, somewhere in that, that area. But yeah. Really easy to tell the difference. 
and uh, for uh, just reference sake here in the western US you also have the pale swallowtail which at first glance superficially resembles all the other tiger swallowtails but as you can clearly see pale swallowtail means instead of like yellow um, the markings are more creamy um, not really a more white yellow but that's really easy to tell, tell between all the, all the other ones you can see the difference right here and how pale it is so this species shouldn't really be confused with anything else over here at least and yeah that's pretty much a general overview of uh, the tiger swallowtails of the United States. Um, I think there has been a recording in the very southern U.S. of a uh, three-tailed tiger swallowtail or three-tailed swallowtail. Um, but you really don't have to worry about that at all. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And hopefully this will help you with your IDs in the field and trying to figure out which uh, swallowtail you saw. So uh, see you guys next time and keep on bugging.